Hey guys, once again, ProGamer2290 here to bring you another top 10 list. Except for this time, it's going to be a top 7 list. Anyways, in celebration of Operation Rainfall becoming a complete su success with all three of the games that were that they were, uh, you know, hoping they would get localized for America, the third one, Pandora's Tower, has finally been announced for localization here in America by uh, excellent publisher Xseed. <coughs> Anyways. In uh, celebration of that, I'm going to give you my top seven list uh, of the games, the top seven games that should be localized, you know, as soon as possible. All these games will be, um, you know, within this generation of gaming, so they will be for all the current consoles, or the DS, or the PSP, since the Vita, or also the Wii. So, pretty much... Um, any console that is still considered, you know, a viable platform that they're still ma making games for. Anyways, let's get this list started off with number seven. Now, number seven is a PSP title called Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. And, uh, this game has already been localized for America, but not for the PSP. As in, they remade Persona 2 for the PSP. Um, and then they remade the second part for the PSP as well, but the second part was never localized for America. And the first part for the original system was never localized for America as well. So in other words, if you want to play Persona 2, both parts, you have to play the first part on the PSP, then go to the PS2 and find a 10-year-old game. So, yeah, there's something wrong with that. They should definitely localize the second part for the PSP in America. Anyways, moving on to number six. Number six is a game you probably, well, okay, you probably not have heard of it unless you watch a lot of anime or play a lot of Japanese-based video games. It's Hatsune Miku Project Diva, and there's a few of these games for the PSP and for the Vita, but let's just go with the newest one. Um, it's a rhythm-based game, sort of like, uh, you know, Elite Beat Agents or you know, Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm, and I think it's a, a would be, I think it would do quite well in America, considering uh, Miku has a pretty big fan base in America, and I definitely think they should bring that over. I mean, if they did, I would definitely uh, get it. All right. And number five is Bravely Default Flying Fairy. This game looks good, and I'm surprised that uh, Square Enix hasn't announced its localization yet. It's a 3DS game that, it wants, as far as I know, it's also a new IP, and it looks really good. It's got really nice 3D graphics and voice acting, and uh, to, to JRPG, but I, I think it looks rather nice, and I definitely think this game should be localized. Alright, number four is a game you've probably not heard of as a game, but you might have heard of it as an anime. Steins Gate, the visual novel. Now, visual novels don't really get localized very often here in America, but we have had a few that have done quite well and have gotten pretty good reviews, such as 999 and the sequel to 999, which I can't remember the name right now. But Steins Gate is an anime that is a really good anime, and I started playing the visual novel and it's just as good, if not better. I think that visual novels could do quite well in America, considering it's just like any other kind of novel, only it's got a lot more visual to it. Um, anyways, number three is a game that probably, definitely won't get uh, localized for America, and, I'm and it's kind of a shame, too, because it's a remake of... It, okay, it was Fire Emblem 12. Or Fire Emblem, um, Fire Emblem, oh, I remember now, Fire Emblem 12, or Fire Emblem, New Mystery of the Emblem, Heroes of Light and Shadow, which is a mouthful. It is a remake of the sequel to Fire Emblem, which was Fire Emblem 3 in Japan, and when they remade Fire Emblem 11, they localize that for America, so it just doesn't make any sense to me that they would not localize the remake of the sequel to it, considering we never got that in the first place. And the biggest uh, depressing thing about it, I would say, is that 
Fire Emblem 11, to me, wasn't really that good of a game. It had almost no character development for characters other than Marth and non-playable characters. In other words, everyone except for Marth, who was playable, is expendable in that game. In, in other Fire Emblem games, when a character, a uh, main character, would die, they wouldn't actually die, they just couldn't be used anymore. They would uh, just say, oh, I, you know, I, I gotta return, you know, I, I, I can't fight anymore, you know? But in this game, the only character that isn't expendable is Marth. Every other character dies, and that's it. They get their parting words, and that's all. They say, like, oh, I messed up, and then that's it. They're gone forever. Um, Fire Emblem 12 doesn't do, you know, it, it improves the battle system, it improves the character development, it does so many things right. And on top of that, it's the first game where you are actually a playable character, and the only other game I can think of where you were a playable character in Fire Emblem would be Fire Emblem 7, which was just called Fire Emblem in America, where you're the tactician and you actually have a part in the story. But in this game, you are a character, and uh, a lot of it is based around you. So it's like a remake with new elements added to it. And I think it's a damn shame that this game is never going to get localized, because it's probably one of the best ones in the series. Anyways, moving on to number two is Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Remix. Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix, which is basically a remake, an HD remake of Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts Reaching of Memories, and the cutscenes from, uh, or HD-ified cutscenes of uh, Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. And this game might make it to America, it's just, I'm, I really hope it does, because we, we never got the original Kingdom Hearts, um, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, and this is an HD remake of the Final Mix, and I think that, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to be pretty disappointed that this game doesn't make it to America. Hopefully it does, because uh, there was a, a Twitter a Twitter post of the, the guy who plays Sora, I can't remember his name right now, um, who said he was working on a Kingdom Hearts game, and it could be a different one, it's very possible, but it's probably this one, and I just hope it is. And number one on the list of the you know top t top seven games that should be localized to America is Project Cross Zone. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. This just in. Well, okay, I was joking. Project Cross Zone has been announced recently to be localized for America, which is great. The real number one on this list is Valkyria Valkyria Chronicles Three. I love Valkyria Chronicles. I think that Valkyria Chronicles is an awesome game, and it's one of the best of its generation, and definitely of its time. Valkyria Chronicles 2 for the PSP I couldn't really get into because it, you know, it was a little too different, but Valkyria Chronicles 3 is not so much a sequel as in, um, well, I mean, I guess it is a sequel, but it doesn't take place after Valkyria Chr uh, Chronicles 2. It takes place during Valkyria Chronicles 1 with a separate team of people, and it, it from what I've seen of gameplay, images, and uh, screenshots, it looks so much better than Valkyria Chronicles 2. Valkyria Chronicles 2 is a good game, but it just wasn't my, you know, type of game. Valkyria Chronicles 3 looks like it does everything right, as in there's a lot of things in Valkyria Chronicles 2 that I didn't like, but uh, I really don't know if this game will ever make it to America just because of how bad Valkyria Chronicles 2 sold in America, but Valkyria Chronicles 3 definitely deserves a chance, and if nothing else, I hope that it's at least, you know, ported to the Vita or something. Anyways, that's my top seven games uh, that I hope will be localized one day, and as a bonus game, even though, um, even though it's not modern anymore, but still has a very good chance of doing it, because Nintendo has brought over uh, plenty of games on their virtual console system that um, was never released in America originally. Uh, Mother 3, or I guess what it would be called, Earthbound 2, if it was localized to America. I don't know why they haven't, considering there's such a big outcry for it, and there's a lot of people that want to play this game in America, and for a lot of people, it's one of their most favorite games of all time. And I, I never played Earthbound, but I would assume it's a pretty good RPG since it has such a cult following. Anyways, that's my top seven, um, 
list, my top seven list of games that should most be... Bleh. That's my list of the top seven games that should be localized for America, plus one bonus. Anyways, I'll catch you next time with another list or something else. Pro Gamer?